Okay, this last side's been done, all the hog rings removed. Now it's just time you can pull it back. <coughs> Real workout on the arms. Those pliers. <coughs> so this comes off as well. All securing tab under there. You can see that in this section here there is actually those metal bands, these things that run through to uh, secure it to this rail here. There's a spring mechanism in there. I'm probably going to pack that up with some foam. I've got some 25mm thick medium density foam from a Clark rubber shop. Should do the trick and just strengthen it up a bit. Um, yeah, this pulls back. Same on this side. Uh, peel back on the top there. One thing to note is this catch here should should just peel back. If not, should just be able to get a pair of pliers on there and bend it. That's almost off. Excuse the shaky camera work. I'm doing this with one hand. Yeah, so just a matter of uh, maneuvering this whole thing off. <laughs> Hold ring stuck on there. <clears throat> See how we go with the uh, without the hog ring pliers. They are a pretty specialty tool. Uh, cost anywhere up to 80 bucks. Not sure whether I justify that for a one one job. If not just a pair of normal pliers, I've got a pair of these old flogged out things, might be able to get a groove machined in there. Something enough to hold the hog ring enough. Other people have suggested using zip ties, which will give you adjustable um, adjustable control and it might work quite well. You can uh, tension each side um, bit by bit and that will allow good solid uh, form around the bolsters which are quite worn. Alright, well, see how we go.